Hi guys, welcome to Python Programming One Mini Project. So this time our course leader was Mod Hezri bin Mazaki, and the student was me, and my name is Ba Jun Ho, and the student ID is 04122-0366. So the use website is online Python beta. Okay, long story short, let's move on to the next. So the material that what I'm using is McDonald's self-order system and also currently common use in cafe scanning order system as reference. So below two image shown is the method that what I'm using now and total if is 56 line coding. Okay, so if you want to see more details of these all the codings, so please pause the video and you can look slowly you can read slowly all right let's move to the next okay so for introduction the self-ordering system is designed for businesses in various industry including retail restaurant e-commerce and supply chain management it catered to establish seeking to streamline their ordering process minimize human errors optimize inventory management and deliver a seamless and efficient experience to their customer and the purpose of self-ordering system is the pinnacle of efficiency and convenience. Automate your ordering process for seamless operation and enhance customer satisfaction. Okay, let's see. So this is the process flow. This is my process flow. And the first thing that we need to do is start. And then customer need to select the order and the system will receive the customer order and the system will calculate the total cost and the customer need to make the payment after the cost figure out. Okay, then customer need to wait for receiving and the end. Okay, so this is step and result. Okay, so guys, we can see uh, this is my starting uh, interface. Okay, you can see here the food menus. Here's the food menus. Here five items. First is pizza, it's cost 20 ringgit, and the second is burger, it's cost for 10 ringgit and 50 cent, and the third is pasta and cost for 12 ringgit and 50 cent, and the rest. Okay. So what we need to do for the first one is uh to order according to food menus, food court. Means that if you want to order pizza, you need to key in one. If you want to order burger, you need to key in two. Okay. So what we need to order, so we just key in as the image shown, so one, two, three. All right. So maybe you guys have one concern, like how if we are keying wrong number 45, let's say this 45. So don't worry about that. System will trigger customer try again if input invalid code number. Okay. So here I have shown invalid selection and please try again. Okay. If you don't want to try, just leave it. And the next, we need to key in done and send the order. You can see here, done. Just key in done and we can send the order to system. And the system will receive the order and system will auto calculate the total sum here. Let's see. So the system will summarize out what the things that we order. Okay, what we ordered just now is pizza, burger, and pasta. So the total price is 43 ringgit. Okay, after we verify everything is uh, correct all. So we go on to the next and this is also the last step. So we need to key in customer payment amount. So let's say you are a customer and you're paying for 50 ringgit. So you just key in the amount 50. And the system will auto calculate the change and the change for 7 ringgit. And what you need to do is pay the 7 ringgit back to the customer. That's all for this system. Okay, so for conclusion, the self-ordering system revolutionized the way businesses manage order, providing efficiency, accuracy, and convenience. By automating the process, it empowers businesses to optimize operation and elevate customer experience to new height. Okay, thank you guys for watching and please comment if you have anything that you want to tell me. Alright?